Hello everybody! Watch this video to learn about a new method to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 on hardware which is not supported. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. As we all know, you can move on from a licensed Windows 10 to Windows 11 and it's absolutely free. But what can be done if your computer can't upgrade to Windows 11 since its hardware is not supported? In today's video, we'll explore how to upgrade to Windows 11 on a computer which is not supported and we'll see if it's really worth it. With this method, you'll be able to move to Windows 11 23H2 easily, but you'll have to take every step manually. Microsoft claims that installing Windows 11 to a device that fails to meet the minimum system requirements for this operating system is not recommended. If you ever decide to install Windows 11 on such hardware, you'll have to consider the risk of facing certain compatibility issues. These issues or other possible problems may result in serious trouble. Devices that don't meet those system requirements will no longer receive guaranteed updates, including security updates. If Windows 11 is installed on a device that doesn't meet the minimum requirements, certain obligations will be abandoned. Such computers may no longer receive supports and updates. The manufacturer's warranty will not cover any damage to hardware which was caused due to compatibility issues. Before, there was a TPM chip that prevented users from installing a newest operating system on an old computer, but now it is complemented with a list of unsupported CPUs. Strict compatibility checks in Windows 11 put serious limits on CPU requirements, and the chances are slim for older hardware to comply with them. However, the list of supported CPUs can be found at the official website. As you can see, the list of supported processors starts from the 10th generation, with only some 8th and 9th generation CPUs still available for support, which means that most computers over 5 years old are unlikely to support Windows 11. Alright, then let's see how to upgrade your operating system in such cases. For this method, you don't need any third-party utilities or scripts, which makes it an excellent choice for those who don't trust unofficial tools or modified system images. For starters, download a Windows 11 image from the official website. Type Download Windows 11 in the search field and follow the first link – download Windows 11 to Microsoft.com. Scroll down until you see Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. Select Windows 11 and hit the Download Now button. Choose your language and click Confirm. At the next step, click 64-bit download. This will start the download for a Windows 11 23H2 ISO image. You will need about 7 GB of disk space for that. Also, the image can be downloaded with the help of media creation tool or you can use a bootable USB drive with Windows 11 23A2. Anyway, mount the downloaded image or connect a bootable drive. The mounted item should appear in the Explorer. Try to remember its drive letter. Otherwise, copy the drive contents to a separate folder on your computer. For example, let's copy the stuff to the system drive into a folder with the name Windows 11.
When the files are copied, start the command prompt as administrator. After that, run a command to launch setup.exe. If it's a mounted disk, the command should look like this. The drive letter, the installation file name and the operating system version. If you've copied the image contents into a separate folder, add this path to the command. As you can see, the server version of the operating system is specified. We have this word server. This enables us to run the installer without checking for TPM or supported CPUs. Such command cannot change the version of your operating system. It only tricks the installer into believing that you are trying to install a server version of Windows. The installation will continue with the SKU number that corresponds with your Windows 10. All you have to do is to follow the directions on the screen to finalize this process. Agree to the license agreement, save files and apps, and so on. In the end, you will get Windows 11 23H2, which is running on unsupported hardware with all your files and applications, as long as you've chosen to save your data during initial configuration. To check the operating system version, click on the Start button, Settings, System, About. You can see that the operating system has upgraded to Windows 11 version 23H2. If you encounter any issues after upgrading to Windows 11, you can still go back to Windows 10. To do that, open Start, Settings, System, Recovery, Go back. This opportunity is only available during 10 days after the upgrade. Later, the files required for this option will be removed to free disk space. If you lost some important data during the installation process, a special data recovery tool Hetman Partition Recovery is going to help you. Learn more about other ways to install Windows 11 on unsupported computers. Just follow the link below this video and visit our channel. Summing up, today we have explored the quickest way to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 on an unsupported computer. For this method, you don't need any special scripts or third-party utilities, which makes things as easy as possible. However, you should always remember that over time the operating system may no longer have updates for unsupported hardware, and this may cause certain system issues. As a result, you may lose access to important files. As I've said before, Microsoft abandons all obligations after an operating system is upgraded on unsupported computers. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck.